what's going on guys so yes this is a non tractor tire related video kind of I mean they're still on there but for the most part it's not but uh, I did want to go ahead and make this video kind of break up the whole crazy tire videos because they've been doing amazing but at the same time um, I don't want to get like burnout on just posting them and so this is also another thing that I'm really looking forward to in the future but you see the title and thumbnail choosing to keep one or something like that so um, a lot of comments saying to put the tires on the OBS well the OBS is gone and potentially one of these two is gone as well so I know you might be thinking why in the world would you want to get rid of one of these because and this isn't being like braggadocious or something like that but a lot of people say that I've got the like the best combo you know a nice clean truck and a nice sports car Mustang muscle car whatever you want to call it so it definitely is a absolutely killer combo and I love both of them dearly but if you look at them I mean they look great but that kind of stinks because they're kind of done more so the car than the truck because you know a lot of people would like to see it supercharged and stuff but that's kind of just a road I'm not really wanting to go down because in order to have a successful car YouTube channel, you really got to do like car stuff, drag racing, street racing, that kind of stuff. And at this point in my life, I'm just not about that street racing life and uh, it's just not worth the possible repercussions of it. Um, I absolutely can enjoy this car without doing that and I am taking YouTube fully as a business. And so it really kind of doesn't make sense to have the Mustang anymore. So I've had the Mustang like two years and it has been absolutely great. The S550 platform is an amazing platform. The car is great. Coyote is amazing. Um, I mean, it's just really is great. But like I said, in order to have a really good YouTube channel on car stuff, you got to do stuff that I really just don't have the huge desire to do. So I'm pretty convinced I'm going to get rid of the Mustang. Um, the truck really has been the foundation of this channel is what's really got me going. I've been doing YouTube for like 10 years on and off, nothing serious like I do now. But once I got the truck is where we really started growing and it's been an absolute ball. You know, people get really upset over putting these tractor tires on here. And, you know, if it's not the most entertaining thing to you or you think it's really dumb, you know, that's your opinion. That's fine. I'm having an absolute blast with it. They've done really well. Hopefully all these negative people are people that don't subscribe, you know, in all honesty. I'm perfectly fine with all these people viewing it. It's got over 100,000 views, it's like 130,000 views on that video right now. And there's a lot of hate, but in my mind, I'm like, I just kind of want to get the truck out there. People that enjoy it and me will stick around and subscribe. And the rest of the people, once they watch the video, leave a mean comment, they'll be gone, never to be seen again. So that's kind of my thing. Of course, there's probably going to be a decent amount of these negative people that stick around just to leave negative comments on all my videos, but that's fine as well. It's YouTube. That's just what people do. But this truck has been an absolute dream and it has done everything I wanted it to. It's, it's, it's really been great and it's given me a big opportunity with YouTube. And I don't want to stop. I want to keep going with YouTube. And for those that understand YouTube, you know you have to have content. And in order to keep this car, it limits me on potentially more content. So the car is amazing. But it's pretty much done, other than if I wanted to supercharge it or something, like I said. But I really don't want to go that route. And so, the car is paid off. It, it could definitely bring a chunk of change that I could buy something else with. And so, I'm really debating on selling the Mustang and getting a 06 or 07 LBZ Duramax. So when the tractor tires are not on there, it is my daily driver. And it does phenomenal. And so, I do a lot of like short trips and stuff and uh, on, my, on a daily basis things that the diesel would not enjoy um, I know people use them for everything but especially the older diesels may may and people might you know rag, rag me in the comments or whatever but short trips and stuff are just flat out not good for diesels crank them up drive five minutes they ain't even got warm yet turn them off that kind of stuff perfect for gas vehicles they don't mind a bit but your diesel trucks and stuff are not that fond of it so i absolutely do not regret getting this truck it has been like i said an absolute dream and i still love every second of it and there's still a million things we can do with it and just have fun with it so i really don't have any plans to get rid of this but i'm going to throw out the option today of a couple ideas and y'all can leave your comments below and let me know what you think so you might be thinking why in the world would i get a 0607 lbz duramax well if you know my buddy 
I'm sure you do, a guy from Alabama, Jacob Hernig. Um, me and him have been friends for a long time now. It's, I don't even know, between five and 10 years now. And so I literally have been with his black truck from the day he got it up until now. The whole process of the goods and the bads of what's happened. Um, if you don't know, um, go over to his channel, check it out. He's got some videos, he doesn't post much anymore, but um, at the truck's been, it was just an absolute beast, an animal, and I absolutely loved it. I mean, there was one time we went to the beach and I drove it all the way to the beach with me and some of my other friends. Jacob wasn't even in the car or in the truck. And uh, I mean, like I'll put a couple clips in or something, but it was just absolutely awesome. So I do have a decent amount of experience with that platform, and I know it's just, it's an amazing platform. Classic body, the 0607s, they have the six speeds, they have the LBZ, which is, you know, debatably the best one they've ever made. Of course, you know, you push them too far, of course they can let go. Um, pistons and stuff have some weak spots. Jacob's crank actually went, but he was twin turboed, so that's a, you know, that's a lot of strain. But, um, I've really never dabbled in the diesel. I've never had a diesel truck. And I get a lot of comments saying that I should get one. And I'm thinking, what better time to get one than when my YouTube channel is growing, I would have my 2018 Silverado and then 0607 LBZ. And what I would wanna build would be a extremely clean street truck. So there is a couple of LBZs on YouTube, but pretty much all of them do really well and I thoroughly enjoy watching them. I feel like even the gasser people that like this truck will like to see LBZ. And you know, if the, the diesel guys don't like seeing this truck, big deal. This is, you know, this truck's for, as far as right now in my head, isn't going anywhere. So obviously I could probably get an older one for a lot cheaper than LBZ, go with the LLY or a LB7. But at the same time, I'm like, I should probably just go ahead and get the LBZ because of the benefits of it, especially for the six speed. I mean, that's a pretty big deal. Of course, you can get anything built. So in all honesty, I would be perfectly happy with the GMC or the Chevy. The Cat Eye, you know, some people get triggered by that, but the Cat Eye um, Chevrolet is just iconic and it looks amazing. You can do a number of different things. You can black it out or you can clear it and just so many different looks and they all just look amazing. But then again, you have the GMC and I really like the big front chrome bumper and put the nice grill in the center and stuff. And Honestly, either one would be great. I just want a really clean, lower mile, rush free one. That's what I would really want to get in replace for the Mustang. Like I said, it's not anything negative about the Mustang. It's 100% an amazing car, but this is YouTube and it is a business. And so you can't make content necessarily on something that's done. Similar to the OBS, that was kind of a mistake to get because I got it with a lot of stuff already done to it. I should have just got a bone stock one and then I could have done the whole build process. I don't really know what I was thinking there, but um, that's neither here nor there. It's gone. So the Mustang is an absolute amazing car, but it's pretty much done. And like I said, there's just not a huge desire for Mustang content because YouTube is so saturated with Mustang content. And that's not a bad thing. I mean, it's an amazing car and that's why it's that case. But at the same time, I'm like, I have twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars sitting here, and it's not making me any money. Whereas the Silverado over here is doing its dang near best that it can. So I kind of feel like it would be kind of a disservice to keep the Mustang and just—I mean, I do enjoy driving it every time, and then I'm like, oh, I don't want to sell it because I enjoy driving it. But at the same time, it'd be kind of a disservice to just have it sit here and not really do anything with it when I have the potential to make something on YouTube and another truck would just be amazing. And I like staying busy. I like having stuff to do. If I could come home and work on something, even if it's something simple, like just a very small part or even just cleaning the truck, you know, something like that. I thoroughly enjoy all of that. So I feel like it's better for me, it's better for the channel, and it's better for you guys to get something else. And I don't really know why I'm going on about this so much because probably 95% of y'all are like, screw the Mustang, get a truck because my Mustang audience, I do have some, but it's pretty small. And um, so I know probably most of y'all are like, yes, get another truck. 
and that'd obviously be a lot more content on a whole new build. Like I said, I would give you all the option of potentially both of them. So I could sell the Mustang and trade in the Silverado on a new or newer, lightly used 2500. And like I said, I don't really think I want to go that route because I do absolutely love this truck. As far as getting a newer truck, I don't really have a desire for a newer truck. I really feel like getting an older diesel will allow a lot more possibilities for me. Cheaper parts, less cost, less risk. Um, obviously, there's a, a ton more options for pretty much everything. I mean, newer stuff too, but you have to deal with a whole D, DEF, DPF, whatever that crap is. Um, so there's just a lot more stuff to deal with on the newer stuff. And honestly, if I can get a LBZ for, depends on miles a lot, but we'll say from 15 to 25 grand um, versus a newer diesel, which is gonna cost 40 to 70 grand. Um, I really just don't see the reason behind that. And I think I will get a lot more enjoyment out of having an older truck. So y'all let me know what you think. I'm sure most of y'all are going to be like, no brainer, get rid of the Mustang, get another truck. But I did want to just make this video, obviously one, it's more content Two, to get y'all's opinion before I just jump ship on something and go a whole different direction. I don't see why anyone would not want me to get an LBZ. Um, but at the same time, I want to just, you know, we're kind of a, kind of a team here so i did want to give y'all a little heads up and see what y'all's opinion on it would be so definitely let me know if you'd like to see a lbz duramax on the channel build a just a stupid nasty clean street truck that's what i have envisioned and um you know i just think that would be amazing um so let me know if that's something y'all would like to see and if it is i pretty much already got my mind set on doing it but i like i said i want to get y'all's opinion so definitely Leave me some feedback. Let me know what you want to see. And I'll see you all in the next one.